Hey everyone, uh, I wanted to show you real quickly how I use the Riley rhythms or the Riley abstraction that I talked about before to give you some quick tips on how to do caricatures and how I use it for caricatures. So you can see on the left I've got, well on the right I've got the Riley abstraction, basic front side view. I got this from fredfixler.com, you can download that. But this thing's really handy because the idea is if you know the firm structure of the rhythms of the face, then you can start to push and pull that structure. You can squish it, stretch it, twist it, and be pretty sure you're on safe ground because you've got that foundation. So committing this Riley Rhythms chart to memory is a good idea. So on the left, I can show you how I use this to my advantage. So let's just zoom up here and we'll look at the first one, the forehead. So I can feature certain of the features of the face to create um, caricatures. So if I look at someone and their forehead pops out at me, then I can emphasize that part. So this one here is, you know, emphasizing the forehead right here. Okay. The next one is the chin. So I'm in the forehead, I'm pushing that structure all the way down to about the halfway point of the head. So it's about halfway, even more so that it's all forehead. And then the lower part of the face has all the features of, of the face. So I'm featuring, um, emphasizing one part. Here I'm emphasizing the chin, but you can see I've got the rhythm of the nose here. I've got laugh lines. I've got the mouth muzzle or basically the muzzle and the chin and how they all fit in and overlap. I've got cheek and all that glabella forehead and it's all fitting together like pieces of a puzzle, but it's not falling apart just because I push the chin. Everything else still fits and relates, but I'm emphasizing the chin here. Next one is the nose and I'm just taking that nose and stretching it, but it still fits within the Riley rhythm really nicely. And it fits into the, the glabella and the eye socket, the eyes, right? The cheek coming down into here, all that stuff, laugh lines, rhythm of the chin, and even you could put a muzzle in there if you wanted to, right? You can use all of the rhythms or just uh, edit out and use some of the rhythms. Let's go down here to the eyes. Basically, again, just pumping up the eyes um, and all the rhythms are there. So the eye is emphasized over the nose, mouth. Um, I've also pumped up the ears here a little bit too. So you can have some fun with that. And then the last one is the mouth. So I'm just pushing them that idea of the mouth because that's what the character needs or that's what the story needs. And it's all just pushing and pulling this really academic stuff and using it to your advantage. It really works well. Um, the middle section is just using some parallel lines like C curves this way. Um, and you can build along those C curves, like the eyes and eye socket, the mouth and where it's going to go. And you're kind of pushing things up this way. In this one, I'm pushing stuff toward the midline, right? I'm squashing it and pinching it. And so the features of the eyes, nose, even mouth, they're going to be really compressed and the chin and lower part of the face are going to be stretched. So that's kind of a fun way is to look for C curves and just look for those kind of relationships. Okay. So that is, you know, kind of a little, um, thing you can do for yourself. Just have a little chart. And if you look at a character and say, well, does he have a big mouth, a big nose, a big forehead, 
is his ears stick out and then emphasize one part of the features of the face. Okay, so let's look at a little process. So here's this, this idea using whatever comes up, characters, little monsters, and funky stuff. So in each one of those things, you can see that same idea that I'm going through and I'm, I'm finding the rhythms, you know, of the cheek right into the chin. I've got the muzzle, right? Laugh lines, all that stuff is, is just coming right off the Riley thing and they all fit together. Glabella, forehead, right? Even this one. Well, there's another thing going on here that I'm taking some basic shapes like two ovals overlapping. That's this one. The tear, teardrop kind of shape. That's this one. This one's the kidney bean, right? Emphasizing the top part of the bean. Emphasizing this part. This one, kidney bean, emphasizing the opposite part the bottom part, so that goes for that one. So I'm finding silhouettes that are really cool. The triangle, a bulging triangle, right? Just the, almost the isosceles triangle, slightly bulging at the top. That's for this one. And this one is also basically a little more rounded kind of triangle. So I'm finding the silhouette and proportion that works well and designing around that. Some other ones you can use are squished in the middle, right? You can use a trapezoid. And again, that kind of almost teardrop shape with some variation in the thick and thin. So we have thick here going into thin down here. So we have thin into thick, right? and then back into thin again. So thick into thin. All right, so back to the idea of using the rhythms. You can see in here, that overall shape here, right here, is carrying this thing, the silhouette. And then I'm going inside and just finding the rhythms, right? The rhythm for the mouth or the laugh lines, the muzzle the chin, nose, right? And then I'm building everything, fitting everything together like puzzle pieces, like lock and key. So they all kind of make sense together. And then I'm emphasizing the forehead in this one, right? Everything else is um, a little bit diminished in terms of the forehead. And then I've got, you know, these funky ears. So I'm playing up the ears a little bit. Okay, let's move over to this one. Same thing. You can see my light lines in here. This is done with ballpoint pen. I've got really light, sketchy lines coming through. You can see right in there. And I'm just trying to find the design. And then when I find it, I press harder and go ahead and establish it. So again, I've got the forehead, cheek into the mouth, right? The laugh lines here, rhythm of the nose, and then building the nose on top of that. Eye socket, and then pulling the lids over, but they fit nicely into the eye socket. The nose fits nicely integrates into the eye socket and the, the beginning of the forehead. Right, so if I just think about each part and how they fit together, it's going to make a lot more sense. And I'm going to connect all the part parts and that's going to make it believable. Everything connects, right? Cheekbone connects to the forehead and it also connects to the side part of the head itself. So there's the front part of the cheekbone and then the side part of the cheekbone. The side part of the cheekbone there. All right, side part of the head. 
and the last one again you can see just searching <clears throat> a lot of searching lines in here right and then I'll come through with let's say a rhythm for the muzzle cheekbone you know cheekbone into mouth there's the muzzle actually there chin fits in barrel of the mouth all academic stuff and just pushing it and pulling it so that's like so important to know this stuff and then you can just design then you can conceive of things as they come to you and you're not held back that's why you know as a, as a musician it's important to write know how to write music I mean I don't know how to write music but if I did I'm sure my song writing ideas they wouldn't just uh, just melt they wouldn't just disappear from my mind as I heard them I'd be able to kind of notate them and I, that's what Mozart did he just notated on the fly he was fluent in reading music and he could just write down what he heard and then keep it he wouldn't lose it right so that's why similarly as an artist if you know the basics if you know the planes of the face the rhythms of the face um, you can just start to just kind of free think, kind of blue sky everything. And just kind of let your hands go like a fighter. Let your hands go. Let your combinations go. And don't overthink it. You've done your thinking. You've done your study. And now you can just go ahead and combine, design, think, plan, and, and, and do it. It's pretty cool. All right. So that's, I think. Let's look at a couple more. Here's one. I did this caricature of a friend in graphite, and you can just see all the same, all the same stuff happening in the underdrawing. Next one. Here's one where you compress it horizontally, right, and stretching it out this way. See, pushing down and stretching out, but you can see all those rhythms come cutting through. All that stuff, right? Muzzle. Rhythm of the nose. Chin box. So now I'm combining planes of the head with the rhythms of the head. That's real powerful. And you've got a rhythm pulling right off that ear. Right off the helix, boom, right into the mouth, right there. Okay, so no, there's no part of the face that's unaccounted for and just looks empty. That's, that's why so many designs don't look as good as others. It's because, you know, there's big passages where there's just nothing there. And when you kind of put something there or hint at something there, it looks a little better. You can account for it. And it gives it a certain veracity and believability on the page. Okay, and here's another one, squishing it this way, right, and pulling it vertically. Same step though, rhythms coming right through into bottom lip, top part of the chin, chin box, or rhythm of the chin, all that stuff. Right off the helix is the cheekbone, rhythm of the nose in here and so on. Okay, there might be one more. Is there one more? I don't think so. I think we went through everything. I thought there was one more. But... So let's do one. I'm going to do one. All right, let's get into that now. Okay, I'm here with a photo of the actor Oliver Reed. And I'm going to just show you quickly how the Riley abstraction or the rhythms uh, go over an actual face. And this is something you should do in your studies is take the diagrams and find the rhythms on an actual face. Okay, so there we are. See that? Boom. There's the rhythms. And notice that you're not going to see every 
rhythm, no lighting condition can show off each one of the planes or rhythms. So it depends on the lighting situation and you use it, this diagram to kind of find the things that you need. And you do the things that jump out at you first that are most um, obvious. So there we are. Simple as that. You can see how the, you know, different shadows show the plane changes or the rhythm, right? You can see by core shadows, you can see where the shines are, where there's a shine that's usually an edge or plane change. You can see rhythms that come right off the ear into the mouth roughly, you know, ones that separate the front of the jaw from the back of the jaw. <clears throat> you can see the muzzle and all that stuff. And it just takes a little practice, but those would be really good stuff to do for your studies. Okay, so let's get into how we would do a character. So let's, let's take uh, this Mick Jagger here. Let's close out this one. Okay, so I've done the Riley rhythms for Mick Jagger's young face. And so here they are. And that's what I'd be looking for, this kind of structure that I can push and pull around. I'll show it to you a little more clearly here. There it is, it's got all the rhythms I'm looking for and it'll give me a good basis for, for proceeding. So let's do that. All right. So now we're going to get to work. So how would I handle old Mick Jagger here? So first, what am I going to do? I think I'm going to add to this a little bit. <clears throat> and I'm going to try and figure out what thing that I want to totally distort on Mick Jagger? What is it going to be? And I'll just try to do this real quick. And I could see he just has a lot of hair, number one. So the hair is maybe what I'm going to push. Oops, I'm on the wrong layer. Let's do, it's okay. And then I'll just find the center of the face. And just try to use those rhythm ideas. So he's got a great muzzle. He's got all that floppy, flappy skin. And so what I'm gonna do is just let this thing run. We're gonna speed it up until the end. And I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, I love you. Okay, basically we finished the caricature of Mick Jagger and I'm going to give a shift command L to do uh, an overall levels adjustment and 
just adjusted the eye a little bit higher and then bring the values down just a little bit and we'll just leave it leave it like that there you go I hope we you enjoyed the video that it was helpful remember to like and subscribe and we will see you next time bye bye